back, I just want to share um, a, a nice bit of happy mail that I got from Jeannie Dreamer. She was in this monthly challenge that uh, is continuing, and this month is Dawn Marie, and last month was my turn, and I uh, challenged everyone to do altered pins, and she sent me the altered pin that she made, which is so cute, and I just love it. Thank you so much, Jeannie. And then she also did some altered paper clips, and she sent those to me as well, and they're all, they're so pretty, and I love the fibers that she's put on the sides of these. And um, there's a beautiful uh, pink trim that's flowery trim that's on the side of this one. And they're just beautiful. And I'm going, I really treasure them. And I will put them somewhere special so that I can look at them. So thank you very much, Jeannie. So this month, the uh, person who is hosting is um, Uniquely Yours by Dawn Marie. And Dawn Marie has challenged us to inspire her with an altered envelope. So this is my altered envelope, and this is not my idea. Uh, Charlotte Peterson did this on her channel, and I will link her channel below. If you don't know Charlotte, uh, you should go over and, and look at some of the beautiful things that she makes, uh, especially for journals. But I really loved this design and the crisscross string up the front of this envelope, and then I just decorated it the way I wanted to and um, it becomes a pocket the way that it's made and I'll just I'll show you that and I just made a tag to go inside that pocket. It'll be going into a journal that I will be making because I really like the the blues and yellows. I like those colors together. That is my altered envelope and what you do is you take an envelope, um, glue down I'm not going to actually do it, but glue down this so it's out of your way because otherwise when you're trying to slide your tag in and out of your pocket, it will, it'll get caught up on it. So you want to make sure you glue this all down really well. Then fold, just gently fold your envelope in half and make a little pinch right there in the center because that you just want a little, little mark there so you know where you're heading when you're folding. And then you just have to fold each side into that center piece there so that's one side there and then you fold this one in to meet it and try and get it nice and close so that when you're stitching up your front it's nice and even so you have to make the holes now up the front to, to do your crisscross tie through so I just measured the height of my uh, envelope and I just uh, evenly distributed these. I think I did them all uh, half an inch apart. And I ended up with the bottom stitch first, and then you come up from the inside and go crisscross all the way to the top. And then you want an extra set of holes at the very top so that your string can come through and you can tie it in a little bow. I added some little beads on this one, one of my little beaded butterflies. This is an image from a napkin that I have uh, glued onto some cardstock so it's nice and sturdy. A little bit of um, lace behind there. And and they're really pretty. And when you put this into your journal, you can attach it, uh, glue it in on this side and the bottom. And that would leave you this as your pocket, but also a tuck. Um, you could also put some lace on the side here and do it as a flip in which case you would have journaling space on the back. It has possibilities in your journaling, um, in your journals, or even if you just wanted to make this with a tag in it and send it to someone as, a, as part of their happy mail or as part of a birthday gift, it would be really nice. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. When you're finished doing the lacing part, that's when you glue this bottom closed. So you just run a bead of glue along the bottom so it would be right along here and glue that closed. Don't glue it closed until after you've done your lacing because otherwise it makes it really hard to lace this, whatever you choose to lace with. And this is just some crochet cotton that I used here. Um, you can use any anything really would work, um, string of any kind. So there's my entry, Don Marie.
and I hope that's inspired you and I hope it inspires others. Thanks ladies. See you soon. Bye.